Hello and welcome back. This is Joanna the Medium and these are going to be readings for the month of October 2016. First and foremost, thank you so much for watching, liking, subscribing and sharing. I have had an incredible amount of incredible amount of comments and emails which I read every single one and they make me very happy. So thank you so much for doing this. Um, just like last month, these um, readings for the month of October are divided into two parts almost. The first part is a channeled message and the second part is cards which uh, often correspond to the message that was channeled but also offer a little bit more detail with regards to what may be happening in your life. Uh, these are general readings, so if one sign does not make sense to you, read your other signs as in your moon sign or rising signs for these may offer uh, a greater picture to what is happening. I have also received a lot of information or a lot of feedback from you saying that when you listen to the reading at the beginning of the month, it doesn't really make sense and it probably wouldn't. But when you listen to it again towards the end of the month, it makes perfect sense to you. So I would encourage you to do that. I do that with myself when I watch readings, um, because when a month starts, we are not privy to what is going to be happening. So uh, October is a month that is uh, interesting, to say the least. I do have yet another new energy that I'm working with. And he has been providing a lot of information regarding the month of October and the months beyond. So I won't spoil the surprise for you, but it is reflected in each and every sign. There are some of you who have asked who he is. He is a male energy that I work with, and it is basically an energy or entity or being that um, basically tells me what to tell you. Even when it is with cards, uh, he tells me what the message is for you. Of course, if you would like a private session, I would be delighted to do so for you. You can reach me at the information below or you can go to my website, joannathemedium.com. I have also included links for you down below to my website as, as, lo, um, as, as well as to my booking page so you can go directly and book your own session that way. And I think that is everything that I have to say for you. If you feel inspired to to write a comment or message me, I would, as always, love to read it, and I read them all. So without further ado, um, let's go with the reading, and I will see you again soon. Thank you. Hello, and welcome back. These are going to be messages for the sign of Pisces, moon sign, rising sign, and sun sign. I have three cards face down. I will start off just like the last couple of months with messages channeled messages so let me connect and um, let's see what we start off with some of you will be presented with a new job offer for some of you this is going to be an arena of law and I'm hearing the word school so for some of you you have either graduated from school or are um, in a process of graduating and you are going to be offered um, a, jo uh, a job, a, a job, yes, job position. And I hear the word law also. For some of you, this is going to be an offer pertaining to medical devices or job in medical devices or dealing with medical devices. For some of you, you will be looking at a career change. And this career change is being shown to me as end of October, mid to end of October, beginning to mid November. So halfway through October to halfway through November, there is a job change and promotion coming up. I see a letter R for some of you. Um, who have a letter R in your first or last name, this is going to be more prominent than for others. I also hear doctor's office. For some of you, you either work at a doctor's office and there will be a move or you will be getting a job or a career 
pertaining to doctor's office and it is not shown to me in what capacity but I am feeling more on an admin side than actual uh, doctor patient type scenario. I'm also hearing that this has been in the works for quite some time for you and since graduation. So again, this is for some of you, you are either graduating, have just graduated or um, you are uh, finishing a course doesn't necessarily mean that you're just out of, um, you know, uh, high school or, or, or college. Um, it just means that you, you, what I'm trying to say is you could be in the middle of your life and have taken some courses and as a result, you will be getting a new job offer or a completely new and different career. I am being shown the number nine, which is endings. And I hear endings of struggle. So a lot of this is going to be financial jobs, financial, financially related. Um, he's showing me hearts. So for some of you, this will be uh, emotional reading or reading pertaining to messages pertaining to uh, romance, emotional. But I'm focusing now for whatever reason on financial house and finances for those of you who are going through changes or will be going through changes. I also hear that the change that is coming for you is imminent. And when I say this, the feeling I get is, what's the feeling? Apprehension. Okay, so there's a, there's a, a bit of apprehension for you if, you, if this uh, message is, resonating with you and the apprehension is to do with a job or career change and i'm being told to say the change and changes that are upcoming are inevitable inevitable that's the right word and you've been waiting for this for a long time i also see someone looking um through, I don't know if it's papers or ads, looking, 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 looking. So you, for some of you, you have been looking for a change in jobs, change in situation around job for quite some time. And again, I see the number nine and I heard nine months. So for some of you, it's nine months. For some of you, it's endings. This is significant of endings in your career and financial sector, okay? And I'm asking him, is this for the better or for the worse? And he's saying, for most, it will be a very, very positive and upward move. For some, it'll be a lateral move, financially speaking, but to a better situation or a more healthy situation because wherever you are or have been has been weighing on you heavily uh, mentally and emotionally and he's saying for some of you it has been causing you back pain or uh, pain in the back or pain in the butt so this can be taken in several different ways again the letter r is being prominent very very clearly uh, shown to me and he's saying the words father to me so for some of you who are fathers and you have a letter R, this is going to resonate more so than others, or you do have a father whose last, whose name uh, either starts with an R or last name has an R. And I'm trying to ask him if this is a father that's passed and I'm hearing deceased father. So this is a letter R, somebody's father is trying to communicate through to you. Um, I'm trying to get a little bit more information about this father figure and I hear the word eggs and farm. I have no idea what this means, but as you guys know, I'll just say words and inevitably someone emails me or some many's email me and say, oh my gosh, this is exactly what this means for me. So eggs and farm. <laughs> That's interesting. Okay. For some of you, your father was fishing or liked to fish or was into fishing. Letter R, very important. Okay, let me see if there's anything else. So that's the financial sector. Now he's asking me to talk about emotions. For some of you, you are going or will be going 
through a change in a relationship. This relationship is being signified as a romantic relationship because he's showing me a heart. And again, he says these changes or transitions, as he calls it, is um, for the better. He's showing me an image that signifies to me that you will be coming out of a dark place and moving on to something much, much better and financially also stable. Um, let me just see if there's anything else. Yes, there's, nine, there's again, number nine, this is endings of struggles. Um, some of you are struggling in a relationship or have been struggling in a relationship and I'm being shown you pulling roots out and what that tells me is pulling, eradicating old situations, getting rid of old situations, throwing away old situations, leaving something, eradicating something that no longer serves you mentally and emotionally. And then I hear the number, uh, the words nine years. For some of you, you have been in a relationship for nine years or something with the words nine years around a relationship. Let me just see if there's anything else. I'm also seeing six or June. For some of you, you may have a partner who was born in June. Um, I'm actually trying to remember where Pisces fits because I'm terrible with signs. The only reason why I do them by signs because that's the only way I can segregate them. But I actually don't remember which signs uh, have which birthdays on what date. So please, I apologize. But I'm, be seeing, I'm being shown number six and June. And I think that Gemini, but anyways, I'm going to leave that for you to decipher because the six and the June means something to you. Also, something with number six and June and a mother figure. Okay, so if this connects with you, you're most likely dealing with a relationship issue problems or you're moving on or will be moving on to a different relationship. My apologies about this. Something came, somebody came to my door and I had to answer the door. Okay, so let me just go back to the messages, changes. Okay, changes in relationships. I feel like October is going to be a month of endings for you. Uh, endings pertaining to bad situations, whether work related, which is connected to finances, or whether it is connected to relationships, October is going to be a month of endings and hence the number nine. So we'll see what the cards say. But again, he says to me, the changes are inevitable. And I'm, I'm, I'm wanting to get a feel for, deeper feel for this me, for the message. I can't quite put a finger on it of what it is. But it's, it's like I'm, I'm having difficulty figuring out what the feeling is. It's very, very strange that I can't put a finger on what the feeling is. Anyway, he's asking me to move on. The changes you're going through, or the changes you will be going through are inevitable. And they are going to be for the better. For some of you, you are struggling to make a decision or you're struggling with making a decision to move on and this is particularly for those of you who are looking at changes around or in relationships romantic relationships could be friendships but i'm focusing here on romantic relationships because he's showing me a heart for the sign of romance or love relationship romantic relationship significant other relationship you're being asked to please move forward and leave your past behind. You're being asked to forget what was and pay attention to what will be. And you're being asked to focus on an area of your life that brings you joy. And the reason why he's asking you to do this, some of you say, who is he? When I talk, when I say he, it's, it's a guide that I work with. And at different times, I work with different guides. It happens to be a male energy. So that's who I call he, okay? He, he helps me with this work. Leave your struggles behind and leave your worries behind. I hear the word anxiety. So listen, when there's changes happening with work, 
which is finances and relationships, which is love, there's always a bit of worry and anxiousness so and an anxiety. So that goes with the territory. But you're being asked to focus on something positive in your life because that is going to carry you forward in this um, difficult time, let's say, okay? And this is not something that is going to hit you out of the blue. This is something that I'm being told you have been contemplated contemplating for quite some time and for some of you it's going to be as long as two or three years and particularly with relationships this is a month of endings for you october is a month of endings for many of us endings don't necessarily mean bad things on the contrary endings to me signify endings of situations that no longer serve us and beginnings of something new and potentially quite 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 much more uh pleasurable and much more uh, positive uh going forward have faith in yourself this is the this is probably the most important aspect of this reading here is to remind you to have faith or for you to remember to have faith and he's asking you to go back and think of situations where you really struggled and what pulled you through and he says it was your faith that kept you going forward so whether it's faith for god whether it's faith for Buddha, universe, whatever you, Jesus, whatever you want to call it, keep your faith at the top of your list as you are going through these changes. I'm being shown the month of November as well, and he's showing me November will be a much more settled month for you where the movement won't be as volatile, can I say. The transition will mostly be already in place or it'll be feel more stable now transition can also signify transition in our thinking and our believing and sometimes the transition in our thinking can feel very volatile because we don't know what we're thinking and you know we're confused because we're leaving the old we haven't quite come to the new yet so it can feel very much confusing but the waters as he says says will settle down by the time you reach November or end of November. So I'm going to stop with that because this is not a reading for November. This is a reading for October. So let's just leave that message. Yeah, the number nine, that's endings. And as I see the number nine, sorry that I'm not looking at you guys because when I look away, I'm actually seeing things in my mind. It's easier for me to focus rather than staring at myself. And that's how my computer is set up so that, you know, I stare at myself. When he shows me the number nine, he shows me a white dove. White dove, to me, there's several things that it can signify, but to me, in this particular aspect, signifies freedom and spirit. And he's, he's asking me to leave that interpretation to you, whatever that means to you, whatever the white dove symbol means to you, it is, it is meant for you to have it. And also pay attention to your thoughts, very important. Okay, let's start with the first card. So the first card represents your past or also your mind. And we have the card called Choose Wisely. This is emotional card. This in a traditional tarot deck is uh, Seven of Cups, but it was shown to me in reverse. Okay, and when I ask him what this pertains, and remember this is to do with your past, he's saying to me that the basis of the situation you're finding yourself in is rooted in unwise choices. And I'm asking him to explain what that means. And he showed me a vision of someone jumping into something, a relationship or situation with both feet in without thinking too much or without research he says so for some of you this is going to be with the work situation for some of you this is going to be a uh, relationship because it is emotional card but the choices that were man made in the past have not served you the way you thought 
you wanted or the way you hoped it would serve you. But I don't want to spend too much time on it because it is the past, but it is showing you kind of a background or of where where this is all stemming from. The next card represents your your present or the challenge. And the card is seven, another seven. Look at that. So this is a major arcana. You are moving forward. Triumph signifies, well, triumph. Major arcana signifies these are changes happening within you. You see this gentleman, he's charging on his horse. The wind is blowing his hair, signifying it is a swift movement. He is charging forward. The background behind him is lit. So it, 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 he knows where he's going. There's no darkness here. Uh, the yellow and orange to me is representing actually the second and third chakra. So your abdomen and your sacral chakra and also the red signifies to me in this instance, um, your root chakra. So this is all about you feeling safe, safe and stable. And you are currently moving in a direction internally towards feeling much more safe and secure not only about your environment, your stability, but also, but most importantly, about yourself. He's saying to me, this didn't happen by accident. This wasn't a coincidence that you're feeling this or you're going through this. This is happening because you had some, you had to make some choices pertaining to where you are, pertaining to where you were, and you had to make some hard decisions by looking at yourself, looking in the mirror and asking yourself some pretty tough questions. And he's saying to me, that act of you looking into your soul, if you want to call it that, and asking yourself some questions spurred the change or transition into action. So you actually are in a good place. You are moving forward towards something. You are going to be triumphant. I still feel you're in a transition period, but at least on the external level, but internally, I think like pieces are being put back together to make you feel stronger and much more confident. He says to me, confident. This is a lot about confidence too. For some of you, you come from a um, relationship where your confidence was kicked down. Okay. For some of you, this is going to be a work situation where you felt you were let down or you felt um, not valued. Again, going back to relationship, for some of you, I hear the word neglected. So this is kind of where you're coming from, but where you're going is actually a really good thing. The next card represents the future or probable future or your advice. And we have the card called fertility. This is another major arcana. Now, fertility can signify many things. It can signify pregnancy. It can signify, it does signify opportune times. But because the card was shown to me in reverse, the advice for you is not to be so hasty. And that's interesting because it is very similar message to what this card was, which is hasty decisions or unwise decisions. I'm asking him what the advice is here. What is the advice with this card? And he says, pay attention to your thoughts and your intuition. Don't jump into any conclusions or any situations before you think it through thoroughly, whether it's a job, whether it's a new relationship, you are being asked to wait and weigh out your options. So this card in reverse basically signifies the timing is not quite right. And again, he says to me, November, wait until November. So that does not sign signify or mean that you cannot move away from something or start looking into something. But please pay attention. It's like he's saying to me, tread, tread lightly. And to me, that means pay attention where you're going. 
don't make hasty decisions because it's gotten you in a problematic situation before and really weigh out your options and again this could be both romantic and work-wise those are the thing th two components two key areas that he's asking me to focus i want to see if there's anything else he wants to say on here again he says have faith in yourself and your abilities and don't sell yourself short he's asking me to give uh, get another card clarifying card which i rarely do this ah okay another seven so you have three sevens here that's very significant look up the significance of number seven and what it means to you this card says patience and planning but it's shown in reverse so when i ask him what this is meaning what is this trying to clarify to me he says again it's it's to do with hastiness this is right now you're in a time where things are going to start coming together this is not necessarily a time for decision making process as a matter of fact it's not a time to make drastic decisions pertaining to what's next i still feel you're moving forward away from something job career or relationship what we're talking about is the future aspect not make in any firm decisions until something around november that would be a more opportune time so just wait wait until the waters settles settles well the waters settle he says to me i'm telling you by the end of november you will know exactly what this means okay i'm going to leave it with this because it is going on a little bit long. I hope this made sense to you. Please keep in mind this is a general reading and it may not, it probably does not fit or resonate with everybody. If it does not, feel free to listen to your other signs as it will offer you a greater picture or might offer you a greater picture. Of course, if you would like to have a private reading with me, you can reach me uh, by following the link down below. I have included that for you. Or you can book your own reading online or your own session reading or coaching and that link is also provided there for you for your ease thank you again for watching i wish you wonderful october and uh, keep your faith up or faith there keep holding on to your faith and i look forward to seeing you in november bye